Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 6, 2022. I am Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. I think I got the, I missed a lunar phase last time. I got the moon wrong. So this week, Thursday, April 8th, we do have the first quarter moon and on to drought. Nothing changed, so absolutely nothing in the map from one to the next changed in Colorado. It's so strange. But nationally, we see a little less drought down here in Texas, a little more up in the uh, upper Midwest, and a little worsening out in the West. We just haven't had a lot of water coming into uh, the nation, but that's about to change. Let's take a look at the snowpack. We started, this is the end of February at 94% normal, and we shot up and down a little bit. Now we're at 92% normal with this little dip right here. So, yep, things should be nice to pick up. Pick up. We were way above normal in the earlier part of the season, January, so let's see if we can get uh, this up to at least 100%, hopefully, before we go. Okay, and there's a, a later one, still below normal, 91%. For the precipitation, we definitely got some more water over the last seven days. Eastern Plains picked up a little bit out here too. The half an inch to an inch is the light green, but many places in the mountains did well with very isolated spots over two. Looking at the climatology of severe weather, so the uh, beginning of April, or sorry, last week of March, uh, is this area with highest probability in southern, southeastern Colorado, I'm sorry, Oklahoma, I used to live there. Uh, now that expands quite dramatically a week later, and you'll see that the uh, current severe weather chances uh, are building upon this climatology pretty nicely. So here it is over on the eastern edge of it, a really uh, good chance of some severe weather uh, on Wednesday moving up the East Coast and into Florida on Thursday, and then <coughs> Friday further up the East Coast and off. That was a mistake. Wednesday's weather map just shows the elevated fire danger. This really does extend back up in here. I don't know why they're missing that, but we are under a red flag uh, alert for uh, high winds, very dry conditions, low relative humidities around here. Here's our severe weather in the south, sort of by a lot of rain, many, many inches, places getting five to seven inches of water out here. Just send it our way, please. For Thursday, winds will die down a little bit, but I bet there's still some red flag concerns in Colorado. And for Friday, we are entering a very beautiful high dry weekend. So here is our coolness now with the northwest flow aloft going into the weekend. We go way above normal, which is going from 59 up to 61. Our normal low is coming from 31 to 33. So now high and low temperatures are normally not freezing. I don't think though this is yet the time to turn on sprinkler systems. I think people usually wait, I'm trying to remember, is it Mother's Day or something like that in Colorado, this part of Colorado? But we also see very unsettled weather in the ensemble starting Sunday night going most of the week. What this looks like, uh, we'll see. So Saturday noon, big ridge overhead, very warm temperatures, some spots may be approaching 80. I don't know if we'll see Longmont hit 80 yet. Then the next storm is moving in with a big trough. The wider the trough, the slower it moves, and this one is going to go pretty slowly. There's the snow really settling in Tuesday morning, and by Wednesday morning the snow is still kind of happening locally with some rain on the plains with a low passing in through southeast Colorado. So the next 10 days, there's the strong jet stream aloft that's giving us the uh, winds as they translate down to the surface. Uh, then the ridge comes in for the weekend. We are just going to have a fantastic weekend. And there's the trough beginning to dig in the western part of the state. And here's the real kicker, a little cut off low rolling in like a, a bowling ball and wow look at the winds over Colorado as that passes Wednesday into Thursday and then you get into Friday and the, it's another little trough that kind of uh, builds back here so that's what might keep things unsettled later into the week 
looking at temperatures, the cold air that we just had with strong winds is sweeping down, giving us severe weather in the southeast. We're on the cold side of the mountains here. Then the heat comes in for the weekend while the cold oozes off the east coast. <coughs> cold air is coming down with a lower cold front push Monday and then a stronger push going into Tuesday. You can see that cold front kind of fighting back and forth and then real cold air comes in for Thursday into Friday and even in the weekend next week. Moisture, I'm showing this because spring is coming and if we can get a river of moisture overhead, this is precipitatable water. So this is the amount of uh, atmospheric moisture above normal in green, below normal in brown. Here comes the low for Sunday and just a little bit of this uh, moisture gets pulled in, a little bit connects in from the uh, southwest as well. We have briefly a good ribbon or river of moisture, then that gets shoved away as the low races off to the northeast. Dry air returns later in the week. So we're looking at this storm piece by piece. <coughs> The red dashed lines are above normal, uh, above freezing temperatures. The blue dashed are below freezing. And here comes our next system, Saturday into Sunday. And then you'll see it kind of forming right on top of us, going into Monday. There we go. And then the, it gets a reinforcing low comes through. And we do have a couple days of unsettled, showery snow, maybe, weather. I don't know. I'm seeing nothing but rain in some models and heavy snow in others. The GFS is kind of snow crazy on this. So over the next five days, just a little bit of isolated showers and sprinkles on the plains and up in the mountains. Very little snow, only at the higher elevations. Over the next ten days, though, that is inch and a half, two inch area of moisture. I don't know if I can believe this. Um, uh, it would be great if we can get that much moisture out here, even half inches amounts on many places in the plains. And snow is ridiculous. It's 10 to 14 inches in there. This is 10 to 1 ratio to because the temperatures will be so warm that it won't be that fluffy. But that's heavy wet snow if it occurs. So keep an eye open on the Longmont leader and Broomfield leader for all that as the week goes on. I will keep an eye on it. So we have 50s and 60s going into the end of the week. Almost 80 on Saturday. Cooling as the next front comes in. 60s, 50s, and then 30s for Tuesday with a possible return of snow. Hmm. Now the GFS a couple days ago showed but almost could give you two or three snow days if it actually came true. So along my leader and Broomfield leader, yay, finally has its spot here for frequent weather updates and local news. So this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth keeping an eye on rain and snow for you and to decide you to keep looking up.